This is Ritesh Srinivasan and in this video, let's look at Open Chat Kit. Okay, so they claim to be the first open source chat GPT. Basically, I'm a little bit late to make this video. So after this, there have been a lot of models coming out which claim to be open source. Uh, but the idea over here is that uh, they want to provide a powerful open source base to create both specialized and general purpose chatbots for various applications. They have collaborated with Leon and Ontocore to create the training data set. Uh, it is the start of an open source project. They have released a set of tools for continuous improvement and contributions. Uh, this is the online playground page for open chat kit. So you can try and give feedback over here. Okay. So what is open chat kit? It is an instruction tuned large language model. It's 20 billion parameter model fine tuned for chat from Ulithar AI's GPT Neo X with over 43 million instructions. It can perform various natural language tasks like, um, you know, dialogue, question answering, classification, extraction and summarization. It has been trained on the OIG 43 million data set created by Together, Lion and Ontocard. It can be also used as an extensible retrieval system uh, so you can actually uh, the chatbot can be augmented with responses uh, basically with information from document repository api or other live updating source okay so it also supports a wikipedia index and sample code for how to call a web search api during retrieval it provides the context for the model to answer questions live updating source okay and here you can actually Try it out. So they also had a hugging face space. Um, they already have some examples. Maybe let's try out extraction. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is an ex uh, this thing. Okay, we have to make a decision for product plan for something. Uh, the first option is this, this, this. Uh, summarize the above email into a markdown table with columns. Okay. So based on this, it is actually summarized into this. So this is an information extraction. So maybe I can try out uh, extracting something from this. Basically, okay. So let me try something. Uh, let me try clinical information extraction. Admitted with uh, high blood pressure. Share. Okay, history of history of hypertension, history of hypertension under medication currently complaints of dizziness yes, and vomiting. Okay. Complaints. Vomiting. Okay, let me correct it. And I will say extract symptoms from above text. Let's see. I'm just trying it out. Wow. It just says yes. I don't know why it gives this response. Maybe I'm not following the format or something hmm but this was supposed to be an extraction task or my prompt is not proper okay let's try out on some summarization and let's see how they are summarizing it summarize the above into a single paragraph so let's pull out something let's pull out okay something from wikipedia where is wikipedia clinic ah okay Hmm. Let's pull out this paragraph. Okay, and maybe up to here. Let's try out this. To here. And uh, let's copy this. And let's say uh, summarize. Ah. Okay, it gives the question what are the causes of high blood pressure? Actually, I wanted to summarize it. Let's say summarize the above paragraph. 
and let's see what happens i've actually sent it seeing any response ah okay lifestyle changes and medication can lower blood pressure and decrease the risk of this thing like say changes include this if lifestyle changes are not sufficient then blood pressure medications are used yeah up to three medications can be concurrently taken so it kind of summarizes this but it could also summarize as what is blood pressure what is hypertension but somehow it has missed that it has generated a summary so you can actually provide feedback whether you like the summary or whether you want to give it for improvement right so maybe i will give an improvement over here so it says thanks for your feedback help me improve you could provide more details over here so i click on that and i can say that yeah factually incorrect harmful no inappropriate use i will say mm, others and i will say that my question was this it kind of pulls out the text okay help us talk by what correct response should have been uh that what should explain what is hypertension this hypertension in summary uh, it misses out on important important points in summary so in this way you can actually submit responses and you can help them improve it i am actually satisfied with the way uh you know this feedback kit is there but i just tried some use cases over here they have lots of examples over here for example sentiment analysis classifying uh, the following uh, sentiment of following sentence into positive neutral or negative what happens if i copy this and try out give the same response right let's see positive yeah that is actually given this thing maybe i will copy this let me try my own example over here let me say that this raining in Bengaluru. what a relief okay and i will try it out let's see what comes out over here positive so yeah there are different prompts for different kinds of uh, tasks over here so you can try it out right so they also have their features okay question answering so this is what we have covered uh, so they have their github page over here right where they talk about you know uh, what is this open chat kit and you will find code for training gpt neo xt chat based 20 billion parameter model okay chat model there is also pythia chat based 7 millimeter parameter model uh, you can do testing inference using either of the chat models and uh, they've explained how to go about and do it mm, i think there are some hardware requirements also i don't see that over here okay but depending upon the model science the hardware requirements will be present right you probably require gpu and other things okay so you can go over here and try it out right uh yes so this is about open chat kit uh, so they claim to be open source it makes use of open source models the more it becomes better it could become a better competitor to open a chat gpt it's good to know that open source uh, there are people in the open source community working on creating an alternative so i'll be putting the link to this open chat kit um, you know this particular website you can go and try it out for yourself and if you are interested in you know getting this code and trying it out you can do that as well i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video